Some parts of my recording are too loud, and other parts are just too soft. What does all this mean? Does it mean I'm a bad person? Not at all. It's easily fixable. Just watch. There are times when parts of our recordings are too soft, like this here, and we need to amplify them. But other parts, like here, are too loud, which keeps us from doing so. I would to try to amplify this entire track. I would be able to a little bit, but not a bunch, because these spikes would keep Audacity from amplifying it. Now, suppose I want to deamplify these spikes. If I were to try to deamplify the entire track on a six, it would indeed cut the spikes down, but it also reduces the um, softer parts, and I do not want to do that. So I'm going to undo the amplify, deamplify. Now, the quick and easy solution here is to use the compressor effect in Audacity to bring down these high parts, loud spikes, and then to amplify the whole track. Now I will do this now on part of the track. Let's let's just pick a part here. I'm going to use the compressor effect here. And yeah, I'll go with that. Now you can see that it reduced these spikes a lot. It did not reduce my softer parts. And then suppose I would like to amplify them, let's say by eight. Well, now that's approaching the a better track. In other words, that's a little louder. I can easily read those. It brings your, your loud parts and your softer parts closer together. I'm going to undo that and undo the compressor effect. Now what does compressor do? Let's open that up and I'll talk about it in a minute. The compressor effect basically reduces the height or the loudness of these spikes without touching the softer parts. Now I'm going to talk a bit about the settings here. What do these mean? So, the threshold is the volume level at which the compression starts to be um, applied. It ignores sound below this threshold. For example, let's say this would be negative 20. Anything below this is simply ignored. But if it passes above that, then it will start reducing it. Ratio <clears throat> is important. You decide how much the high part will be reduced. Now, I used 8 to 1, meaning that it will reduce this, the part of the spike that's louder than negative 14 decibels to one eighth of what it was before. If I were to use, uh, let's say, two to one, it would reduce that, that same part higher uh, by half. Now, I'm going to go back and put it on eight because th these are some pretty big spikes. Attack time <clears throat> and, de and delay time, uh, I'm just going to suggest that you move them as far left as you possibly can. And let's go down here. We've got the makeup gain. I hope you can see that. Leave these two boxes unchecked. This one will apply the maximum volume increase possible after the compression. And I choose to, I mean, I like to choose my own numbers as far as amplifying. <clears throat> now this one, I'm not sure what it does, so I just leave it alone. So, Let's do it now. We're going to choose the whole. Tr I'll choose uh, the whole track by clicking in this box. A little quick key here. Go to Effect, Compressor, apply that little sucker, bring everything down, then go to Effect, Amplify, and I will type in the number 8. That sounds about right. Now that is a much better track. Now remember, this is an example of the type of um, amplitude that we really are aiming at. You notice it's, it's got plenty of volume all the way through, no big spikes. Of course, I ran compressor on this and so brought them down. But it's a nice high bite. My, my, my peaks are going to about 0.5 above and below. There may be some higher than that, but this is what we're aiming at. Put that back down. And so once again, <clears throat> if you have loud parts and soft parts, then try running the compressor. You can vary the different levels that you want. 
and then after you run your compressor you can amplify. Now remember that millions of people around the world are waiting patiently for your recordings, so turn on that microphone and get busy. We need your voice. Disclaimer, recording for LibriVox may cause feelings of pride, happiness, and accomplishment, and probably will be addicting. But nevertheless, keep doing it. Thank you. This is Phil, the Video Guy.